What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mine Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we're going to cover how to dual mine ETHW and Radiant. So let's take a look at the farm. You'll notice I've got one of my rigs is currently not running and that's because it's sitting right next to me and I didn't want to start the video with a bunch of fan noise. So we'll start that one here in just a moment but before we do, let's go ahead and take a look at our flight sheet. So previously on all of the dual mining, Ergo, Radiant, Ergo, Caspa, and a lot of these videos that I've been putting out, we've been using beta versions uh, before HiveOS has implemented them. But they do finally have uh, BZ Miner 12.0.2, and that's what we're using here. So you're going to select your primary coin as ETHW, select your ETHW wallet, and then select w whichever pool you prefer and then BZ Miner. Then you're going to go to Setup Miner Config. On your first algorithm, you want to make sure you're on ETHash. You can use the default for your wallet and your worker name and your pool. Uh, but do make sure that you drop this list down and select 12.0.2 or if you're watching this video in the future, perhaps a newer version. Now, then you need to select the second coin up here at the top. You're going to select Radiant. Now, here, I don't believe you can just simply use the wallet template because we haven't selected our second coin. What you want to do is paste your wallet address here, your Radiant wallet address. Then you've got your default worker name and then whichever pool you prefer to use. Now, if depending when you're watching this video, our plant still has the majority of the hash rate please move on to a different pool to distribute that hash rate more evenly. This is for testing purposes only. So once you've got your flight sheet set up and you've launched it, one thing that I would like to warn you against is you probably want to go ahead and remove all of your overclocks and set your power limits. When I first started trying to dual mine ETH and Radiant, uh, I seemed to have some trouble on a couple of the rigs generating the DAG file. I'm not exactly sure what was going on, but after removing all overclocks and setting my power limits, I was able to dial in the overclocks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first rig, Alderaan. This is 63070Ti's, and you can see we're getting about 65 to 63 mega hash on ETHW, and about 118 to 111 mega hash on Radiant. In my opinion, these are not great numbers and are underperforming my expectations. But keep in mind, uh, I don't know what the proper overclocks are for this. As far as I know, I haven't seen anybody dual mining ETHW and Radiant yet. So we're just going to have to play with it and see how it turns out. Now, I've got my power limit set at 180 because I don't want to exceed uh, a 110 outlet that this rig is currently plugged into. We've got core set to 1600, memory set to 2600, fans running at 85%, and you can see I've got one card that's getting up into the 90s. But I will say this, you know, just mining ETH or ETHW, uh, these particular cards, these three hottest ones, were getting between 90 and 92 degrees on the memory, and now a couple of them are down to 88 and nothing's really changed about the ambient temperature in the room so surprisingly dual mining maybe lowers the temperatures just slightly it's hard to say but let's take a look at the next rig which is Tatooine uh, this one has 3060 TI's, 3070's, 3080 TI's and a 3070 TI uh, the 3060 TI through the 3070 and the 3080 TI. These are all Founders Editions. This one is an Asus. And as you can see, the Asus is a poor performer on thermals. Now, I have set power limits, but it looks like we're not utilizing all of that power with the exception of the 3070 TI. And I did go ahead and kind of adjust from one card to a matching card the overclock. So for example, uh, this 3060 Ti is at 1200 core, 2200 mem, but on the other 3060 Ti we're at 1400 core with 2200 mem, and you can see we've got a slight increase in both ETHW and Radiant, but 
not much. Uh, again, I'll, I'll continue to play with these overclocks and see if I can find something better. And then the 3070 coming in at 50.5 mega hash and 91 mega hash as opposed to 51.64 and 93.03 when I go from 1200 to 1400 on the locked core. And then the 3080 Ti is about 75 mega hash, 134 mega hash using 1200 and 2200. So let's go ahead and start this Naboo rig and apologize for the background noise in advance. Uh, you are going to hear the HP server power supply ramp up pretty loudly here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and turn these fans up as well. And while we're waiting for this rig to get started, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what to mine. So using the 3070 Ti rig only, um, I've got 384 mega hash on ETHW at about 1,000 watts, and that is putting us at 93 cents a day in revenue and negative $1.47 a day in power. And then if we take a look at the Radiant Mining Calculator, 688 mega hash with no additional power is giving us a profit of about 19 cents. So 20 cents plus 90 cents, that puts us at about a hundred or a dollar and 10 cents per day. Whereas we are burning about a dollar 47 a day in electricity, possibly more, because keep in mind, this is not considering uh, the motherboard CPU, and this is looking at watts in software, not at the wall. So yeah, not, not profitable at the moment, unfortunately, but perhaps a little bit better than mining at a significant loss on just one individual coin. So let's go ahead and refresh our page here. And as you can see, we're getting about 70 mega hash on a 3080 and then 123 mega hash on Radiant at about 190 watts using 1200 core, 2200 mem, power limit set at 200. Let's refresh this one more time, see if we see any changes. And again, about 50 mega hash on a 3070 and about 100 mega hash or 90 mega hash on Radiant on a 3070. So I'll continue to play with the overclocks. I will have an additional video coming out in the future uh, where we're dual mining ETHW with perhaps some CASPA and then maybe some other dual mining or triple mining options from BZ Miner. So if you like this comment, do me a favor, hit that like, and if you haven't, hit the subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. I'm out.